In this video, I want to have a look at finding the size of an unknown angle in a triangle using trig. So first we're going to have a look at some problems that look like this. So here we've got tan theta equals 2 over 5, and we want to know what that theta is equal to. So whenever we're trying to get something on its own, we have to do the opposite to get rid of everything else. So if we're trying to get that theta on its own, we're trying to get rid of that tan, we need to do the opposite. Now the mathematical word for opposite is inverse. So what we're going to do is write tan inverse, so it's like tan with a little minus 1 above it, of that fraction. So then in brackets, you're going to write 2 over 5. So on your calculators, just above where you've got your tan button, it says tan inverse. So it's got that tan with a little minus 1. Same above the cos button, you've got cos inverse, and above sine, you've got sine inverse. So to get tan inverse, we're going to have to press shift and then tan. And then we can put our fraction in. Oops. So we're going to write tan inverse of that fraction that we're given. Hit equals. And then because we're asked to answer to the nearest degree, that's going to be 22 degrees. All right, for our second one, we've got sine theta equals 9 over 10. That means that theta is going to be equal to sine inverse of that whole fraction in brackets. And we'll put that in our calculators, so shift sine to get sine inverse, and then 9 over 10. And that'll give us to the nearest degree, 64. So theta equals 64 degrees. So often though we won't be given a problem that looks like this straight off, that will be one of the lines in our working out. So usually a problem will look something more like this. So we've got a triangle and we need to find the size of this angle here. So the first thing we need to do is figure out whether we're going to use sine, cos, or tan. So again, we need to write down Sokotoa. Okay, so from this angle theta, 3.2 is our opposite, and our 7.5 is our adjacent. So opposite and adjacent is tan. So we're going to write tan theta equals O over A, and then we'll fill in what we know. So we don't know theta yet, so we're still going to have tan theta, but opposite over adjacent is going to be 3.2 over 7.5. Then to get theta on its own, now it's the steps that we were doing up the top here. So we've got a question that looks like that now, so theta will be tan inverse of that whole fraction. And we'll pop that in our calculator. And to the nearest degree, that would be 23 degrees. So let's have a look at one more example. So this one here, from that angle, this is called alpha this time, but it just works exactly the same way as theta. We're just using a different letter. So from that, this 6.3 is our adjacent side, and the 10.5 is the hypotenuse of that triangle. So adjacent and hypotenuse, that would be cos. So we'll write down cos theta sorry, cos alpha this time, is equal to A over H. And we'll fill in what we know. So we've got cos alpha is equal to 6.3 over 10.5. So that's going to mean that alpha is equal to cos inverse of that whole fraction. And when we pop that in our calculators, cos inverse of 6.3, 10.5. 10.5. To the nearest degree, that would be 53 degrees. So that's just a few examples of how we can use trig to find unknown angles in triangles.